guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another makeup tutorial in today's video we are going to be using the Umrezi palette once again I hate when my scarf is covering my ears because I can't hear and it all sounds like it's like right here in my head so it's been a day I've already filmed like two videos already and so you're probably be seeing me in the same sleep shirt in the next couple videos <laughs> but I'm gonna be using the Umrezi palette once again if you watch the review which not a lot of you guys watched it I'm just saying um, I also included a makeup tutorial at the end of that video but I swatched it I talked about it I discussed it and everything like that so I felt like I wanted to use this palette once again in today's video so we're gonna do something a little fun a little different a little free um, a little yeah just just out of my box so if that is something that you guys are interested in then please keep on watching So um, I'm going to use my ABH eye primer. This is a white, kind of light base. And I always feel like, okay, I have more fucking shit over here. Ugh. So I always feel like when I do color, I need kind of like a lighter base. And I don't take a crap ton of this product. I literally take the tiniest bit and just kind of disperse it all around. This is just like a synthetic flat brush that I'm using um, and this more like a concealer brush and this brush just really spreads the product out really nicely. So I mainly focus it on the lid area and then I'll spread it up into the concealer. The concealer that I used today was my Tarte Shape Tape which I haven't used in forever for like carving out my brows. It's literally been like two years because I've been um, all over, um, I've been all over my ColourPop no filter concealer but I think I'm all out of that one and I just haven't gone back to actually I did go back to Ulta to rebuy it but it was all sold out so I was like I don't know what's going on with this but I need my damn concealer do you hear me so I'm just using a substitute for the time being in the cut in the shape tape one dries down nice and matte too it's just not as like bright as I usually like my under eye concealer but that isn't that big of a deal really so yeah. so today is actually like a really busy day for me <laughs> not really busy but I've already filmed three videos this is my third video and then I am making dinner tonight um, I'm gonna go into New Yorker right here it's a little lighter I'm gonna use my JH30 brush it's gonna be my transition shade so for dinner tonight I'm making rigatoni and we had never actually tried rigatoni until we um, we went out to dinner for my birthday and I really like Italian food. Like I love, love a good like lasagna, Alfredo, you know, like all the lasagna or all the, all of the, <laughs> I can't talk, um, all of the Italian dishes. I love them all, uh, ravioli, like just so we went to, um, I forget where we went, somewhere in Orleans. And it was so good, you guys. It was so freaking good. And I really, really, really loved it. Jack really loved it. Like it was a nice rigatoni dish and we had never had rigatoni and it just sounded good. It was like like pasta with chicken, like a spicy, like a like a spicy chicken pasta with red sauce um, and peas. And I was like, yes thank you so we ended up ordering it on a whim like like i said not even really knowing what it was and it was so freaking good so we absolutely um loved it and so i wanted to figure out how to make it so i just looked it up online and it was the same same exact place that we had gone it was like a replica um dish so good guys the only thing i didn't like is the noodles that i use i got them from kroger and the rigatoni noodle was short and fat and it wasn't like the rigatoni that we had at the place and that's the only thing that i didn't like but this time i actually found like 
it, it's our alley, I think it is, and it's the same rigatoni size that we had at the place. So I'm excited to cook that today. That's what we're having for dinner today. So, oops, excuse me, it's a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and I'll talk while I cut my crease, but it's a lot. Um, I'm using a Joseph Colors concealer brush. Um, it takes a lot to cook this dish, you know? It's like, you gotta saute the red, crushed red peppers with the olive oil and then put the chicken in it with the garlic and then after all of that has had time to like open up and like like come and make into like a, like a oil, like a spicy oil. Um, then you have to put the chicken in there, cook the chicken all while making the noodles. And then um, I have lately learned how to make homemade Alfredo sauce. And before I would just dump an Alfredo in and like the first time I made it, I would just dump an Alfredo sauce in. But I had made chicken Alfredo and I had used a homemade sauce that I once again found on the internet. And it was so freaking good, you guys. So we've had chicken Alfredo and Jack doesn't really like chicken Alfredo. But we've had it like twice within the last like a month. Um, okay, yeah, well. So we've had that. And um, so I make the Alfredo sauce. And then I have some really good marinara sauce for this that I put in it as well. So that is that, y'all. So then you, after you cook the pasta and the chicken you put them together and then you put the alfredo sauce in it but since i make it it's an extra like five minute step and then you put the um so you put the alfredo in there and then you put the marinara sauce and then you dump some peas in and the peas you can put as many or as little as you want um, i really like peas but jack doesn't really like peas so i just put like a nice hefty amount and then mix it all together and it makes a rigatoni and it's so good it's spicy chicken rigatoni that's what it is if you want to look it up and make it for your family and i make the recipe that i follow it's like it makes a crap ton so like we were literally eating on this for like a week not even kidding like on and off for like a week but we also had his parents over so um <laughs> now that it's just gonna be us it'll probably take way longer than that so yeah so for some reason, I've had this look in my mind for forever. Um, and I just use the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas just to cut this. Um, and now I'm gonna go into Leo in the palette and it's a really, really bright blue. And this is what I really want to be the star of the show. This blue is so, it's so freaking pigmented. Like when I say they did that, like they fucking did that. Like, this blue is everything. And this, if you are not comfortable with blue, definitely don't recreate this look because it's literally all blue. And the main reason I went in with New York at first was because I, I really don't like saying that because I'm not from New York. So, saying it, I feel like I'm appropriating their language. Like, they're, like, I don't know. I'm weird. Anyways, um... But the reason I put New Yorker down first is because um, I needed the crease to be all one color because I kind of have like a little bit of discoloration in my crease. So just placing that down first just really gives it all the same look and same color. Now this shadow is so soft. It's so soft and buttery that I feel like I'm losing a lot of the color like in the pan, but it's really pretty. It literally looks like the ocean on my eyes. Ah, this is such a pretty color. I haven't done like a cup crease kind of like this in forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Forever, never seen that long until it's gone. Okay. Oh my gosh, that looks like the ocean. So pretty. So next, I wanted to add some neon liner just to like make it different, like switch it up a little bit. This is gonna get cleaned up. So this, like if you want, you could have used um, tape. That'll give it a really sharp, clean edge, but I'm just gonna end up cleaning it up later. 
This is a Suva Beauty um, UV, which means it's ultraviolet. So I have a blue light. It'll like change. It's really cool. Anyways, this is in this shade Dance Party. It's like a neon yellow. So this is water activated. So I actually need to grab some water from behind me. And I'll just put like a little bit of water in the cap. And then I'll dump in. Ugh, talking about a little water. That's a lot. I'm gonna pour some of this on the floor. Ugh, I'm so... I'm a kid, basically. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get really close to my mirror, but what I'm pretty much gonna do is take this brush and just follow right over the top. I'm gonna go all the way down and go all the way across and just go like that. I'm actually gonna end up speeding this part up because it is pretty tedious and it's gonna take all day and ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna speed this portion of the video up and yeah. But like I said, I'm just gonna take I'm literally gonna dump my brush into here, get it nice and wet. And then I'm gonna take that and just kinda like dump it into here. And that's how it creates the color. It's really cool. Cause otherwise this is just a dry like paste kind of thing. Okay, so I did have a couple boo-boos, so I'm just going to take a little bit more of Leo, which is the blue, and just go like right along the edge. Probably use a detailing brush if I really like, care that much. And then I need to get a small kind of like, I'm just going to use this pencil brush and take, or this uh, eyeliner brush and take some of New Yorker. And just kind of like run it over the boo boo that I had. There we go. Yeah. There we go. This is so different. It's kind of scary because it's so brightish. Um, I'm not sure my lashes I'm gonna put on, but I'm gonna make sure to tell you once I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and my face off camera, um, just to speed the process along. Because like I said, I've been filming all day, and your girl is tired. So I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this is another one of the looks where I'm like, okay, like, that came out fire. I hate that this goddamn jacket will not stay down. But it looks really pretty. It turned out really pretty. So what I'm going to do, um, the last thing that I'm going to do is take my Morphe palette. This is the 39L. And I'm just going to take the shade um, Ghosted right here like this white color but it's kind of got like blue green undertones so I'm gonna take that with a E21 smudge brush from Sigma and just pop this in the inner corner this is just gonna be like my inner corner highlight so it's just gonna like tie the whole thing together and complete the look I always like adding in an inner corner highlight I feel like it just draws the the people to your eyes and the smudge brush is the perfect size for that. And oh, for lashes, I applied my More Beauty lashes. This is the style Whip, 
This lash is so pretty. I love when the lash has like an extra curl. So these are a little longer than I normally would like. They don't feel any heavier. They don't feel any different. Um, but the curl, like it's just like, so like when you look from the side, you can really see that curl is so pretty. And once again, this is the style whip. I love all of her lashes. Um, it's more beauty on Instagram. So make sure you check those out. Like I know somebody said, like I'm always mentioning them and they finally ended up looking on the website. Uh, at some of her stuff and I'm like yeah like y'all are sleep like if y'all haven't bought more lashes especially if you wear lashes like they're affordable they're beautiful like it's just popping okay so now moving on to lippy I'm gonna use the ColourPop BFF lip liner and then I'm gonna take Nade Cosmetics liquid lipstick and sun kiss it's just like a really really light liquid lipstick and then I'm gonna go over the top with a gloss Okay, like I said, some of the day cosmetics, liquid lipstick, and sun kiss. I'm just gonna toss this like right here. It looks like really, really light in the tube, but like applied with a brown lip liner, it's like the perfect like peachy kind of nude shade. It doesn't have any pink. It's got a lot of peach hues. And then I just kind of like blot my lips like. Mm, do I leave it matte? I haven't really been feeling matte lips lately. I've been really into the glossy nude lip. Especially because my lips are so crusty all the time. <laughs> So, with that being said, I'm gonna take my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fantasia. I got this at my local Ulta. So if you're looking for this color, you can get it on ColourPop's website or you can get it at Ulta. That's where I got mine. And it's literally like a clear with like a light tint. Like it doesn't ever affect my lip color. But I wear this on top of every nude combo. But I'm using Starfish from ABH, Cork from Joseph Colors, Star or um, Sunkiss from the Day Cosmetics, um, or uh, uh, what? What did I? I use Decaf from Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics. Like whatever look color that I'm using, I will place this over the top, and it will look really pretty. Yeah, so this is the completed look. <sighs> it's so pretty. I definitely didn't expect it to turn out this pretty. And I secured my wig for the first time ever. I probably could have put a little bit of concealer down the line um, because my, my knots aren't bleached. They weren't bleached. And then I dyed this hair jet black. And I was just like, can't be bothered. You idiot too. So. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. This is such a pretty look. It's such a summery, fun, colorful look. Like, especially because it's so gloomy here in Illinois. It's just, ugh. like, it's cold. It snowed yesterday. I just can't be bothered. So this look just really screams summer, color, brightness, and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. So that way you're notified every time I post a video. Period. Okay. And yeah, let me know what you'd like to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.